Welcome back to another edition of a trade recap that happened today with NVIDIA. We're trying to show you why we entered, why we exited, and then in this particular case, why we were a little concerned about theta affecting the trade along the way. Um, you noticed that last week NVIDIA was extremely strong with this 775 high that occurred even if the market was tanking and not really strong. So this gives you an idea that this ticker is extremely strong while the market isn't. So as I always say, when the market's going to pick up, get a grip and start moving back up, this one's going to move up as well. However, this morning we had news with China saying that they were cracking down the crypto miners and obviously with NVIDIA selling some GPUs for the crypto miners, um, this was not so good news for it. So we expected a drop at the market open and this is exactly what happened. And look at what happened. We started tanking right away. So the idea is to look for a bottom. And my idea of a bottom was the high I'll show you on of the one hour chart here I'll put this on and this is the line that I saw that happened last week around Tuesday where we had a high in the 721s so basically if I go back to five minute chart you sh you know, I'll show you exactly what I mean and this is the support we had when we entered the trade um, we entered a little early at 521 for the 750 C's, we expect this whole thing to move back up. The 750 is, let me show you exactly what I mean why, and the 750 is this here, right? This line is around 750. So basically, if we were to get back and to reclaim this on that first day, Obviously, this would have been a very profitable trade. Um, it didn't quite happen that way because we started tanking even more. We entered, let me blow this up here. We entered in this area when we touched my yellow line, thinking we would jump up on this, but not. We kept on going down a little bit further. And to show you how deep we were, look at this MACD. Um, right here and keep going down this is the RSI that is below 20 I think it was below 15 at one point so basically this needs to rebalance rebalance to get back up to where we were if you look at back to the uh, one hour chart it's not as dramatic it tell, shows you that we came down to the old resistance dipped under with volume picked it up obviously while you're trading it we went a little red on this one um, I believe it got down to a low of 375 but still it still remained above the uh, let me put a line here so you can all see so that nobody sold past this point everyone was extremely bullish obviously this was resistance Nobody sold past this point and it started started rising. We're still above that. I mean, we're not into selling territory. We're still above the 200 EMA on the one hour chart. So it's still bullish. So it was okay to hold. And let's get back to the five minute chart. When you're trading this intraday, obviously when you're out of the money like we were at 750 you're looking for something that will either do a v-shaped recovery you know go, go like this and it could have gone like that however it didn't it even tested the lows again it did a typical nvidia a tiny bit higher before than then before and then it took off and then you know it was hesitating and then it took off at the end of the day with volume right you see this volume rising so what we wanted is to have momentum quickly towards our 750 target because otherwise what happens is theta the time until we get to expiration 
is getting narrower and as we're not getting closer to our target or well actually the strike price the how fast we're moving there will affect how fast your premium is going to move now we're not moving very quickly because it's hesitating back and forth a little up a little down so it took a while for us to get moving um, the idea behind all this is to make money if we're not in the right spot i mean we could have waited and hope for tomorrow to be even a higher day however i'll show you um i'll show you something look at this chart that we have here as it has momentum and it's moving up and look at this one see the difference now we're in the 750c chart for the day look at it we alerted in this area we went down to the low of day which i believe was 375 and then it's basically just flat even if the ticker went like this this one is flat because we're not going towards our target which is not target but strike price 750 fast enough for it to move in that direction so we decided to exit very close to the end of day here which wasn't too bad after all you know we ended up being sell selling at 17 713 from a 521 for a 35 percent trade um i'm extremely satisfied with that obviously tomorrow is going to be another day but the idea is this are you happy with 35%? Are you happy to secure 25, uh, 35%? If you are, well, that's good enough. We can move on. We can get back in tomorrow. But the idea is to realize that we're still out of the money. We had a low of 718 or so, and we ended up at 737-ish at the end of the day. And yet, this whole thing is not moving very quickly, our premiums. So you have to, at one point, take a decision, say, am I happy with this or am I waiting for something that will be more going my way tomorrow? I prefer to secure this, play safe. We can always re-enter on the following day. So to recap, to recap is this, NVIDIA was strong, NVIDIA was strong last week and had strength even though a spy was coming down. It w There was bad news but it's only affecting China. So eventually we will get a grip on that one. So we look for a bottom on old resistance, old support. That became support and eventually we look for a target that is attainable somewhere that is possible to reach i believed at one point at that time that 750 was possible we did we never got that today and this is the other thing spy went way up as we kind of hovered down so sometimes you have to take a decision we were strong but we didn't, did not behave strong throughout the day. So we took the, um, the 35 and we're super happy with this. So I hope you're learning out of this folks and let me know in your comments.